In this issue of the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, we're going to talk about an evidence-based study on whether breast implantation consent forms should include anaplastic large cell lymphoma risks. Anaplastic large cell lymphoma, boy that's a mouthful. Commonly referred to as ALCL is a rare type of lymphoma. Public and physician awareness of ALCL has increased following the FDA's safety communication in 2011, which linked the lymphoma to implants in some cases. We now know that the risk of ALCL after breast augmentation is extremely low. In fact, one study reported it in an inc as an incidence of 0.1 to 0.3 per 100,000 breast implant patients, while a another study failed to show an association at all between breast implants and the risk of lymphoma. But most likely, these are hampered by limited numbers and a relatively low follow-up time. Since there is so much to know about this problem, and because of the uncertainty and the debate surrounding this rare lymphoma in breast implants, this new study concludes that plastic surgeons should definitely discuss the risk of this lymphoma and, of course, any other rare serious adverse events. And I certainly agree with that. We, our patients need to be well informed. Patients are encouraged to do their homework. There are many fine studies on ALCL and breast implants in the journal. So, you know, ask your surgeon. He or she will tell you. And certainly, if they're a board certified plastic surgeon doing your operation, specifically breast augmentation, that should be part of the informed consent. It's just the right thing to do.